Hey Nation, JB Sauce here. So a few days ago I got some comments from Robinson World, so let's begin. Uh, the first one he makes on my video, Save Me. He says, I used to believe unquestionably in the theory of Darwinian evolution. And uh, let me just stop right there. Calling evolution Darwinian is like calling physics Newtonian. There's no point in it. And I know why he does it, because he doesn't like the theory of evolution, and calling it Darwinian somehow makes it look worse. It's really old hat. Evolution today, biology, is much bigger than Darwin. Physics today is much bigger than Newton. Okay, so that's old hat for one thing. Moving on. I thought the Bible and the Genesis account of creation was a sham. Mm-hmm. A once skeptical mind, mine was molded to believe in creation. Ugh. I... This is, this is really powerful stuff, folks. You're basically admitting that you took reason and inquiry and investigation and turned it into magic man done it. Wow. Anyway, moving on. That was 42 years ago. And then understood that the end was coming very quickly. Even if it comes 40 years from now, it will still be very soon. Ah, uh, wow. Listen, folks. Anybody who can change your definition of very quickly from what you would think to be very quickly to 40 years from now, I think you need to watch out for that. Robinson World, I don't think this comment makes you look very good, but you said it anyway, so we'll move on. So here's another comment he made on my Save Me Part 2 video. As I said before, you are not there. Wow, well, you know, I know I wasn't there. That's why I investigate things. That's how anybody who wasn't there can find out what happened. I go through the evidence. Moving on. Would you consider classic double talk is just your own biased opinion? Well, you know, the more and more documented evidence I have in the form of print and speech and figures, it becomes less than of an opinion and more of a fact. And for one thing, don't pull out the bias card, okay? We both got our biases here. You know it as well as I do. So don't go down that route, please. Anyway. You have no reason to be concerned. Your motives are to be questioned. You know, I do have really good reason to be concerned. When an organization such as yours can convince people to sell their houses and uh, destroy their future, basically, on a very strong power of suggestion hint, then I really have reason to be concerned. And like I said... My motives are not to make you guys look good. I don't know why you keep pulling out this motives questioning card. It's really a red herring, as far as I'm concerned. He goes on on Save Me Part 2. Regarding 1975, I remember having arguments with members who had an unbalanced view and also read too much into it. Do you know why they read too much into it? It's because they put together the pieces. Pieces that were laid out by the society. They read too much into it because they were greatly encouraged to do so. That's why. You just didn't put the pieces together. Moving on. Even if special significance was placed on that year, I am so glad it was corrected. Here's what they did to correct it, folks. They ignored it, and then they blamed the people who bought into it. Some correction, huh? Anyway. If all your complaints about people who visit you uninvited hinges on 1975, I am pretty sure you will join our ranks very soon. Wow. That is so unobservant. I'm going to come back to that later. Rest assured. Moving on. The year 1975 is a no-brainer. Why do you have hang-ups about it? Why hunt for a few sentences to twist out of context? You know, I don't have to hunt for sentences to twist out of context. The context about 1975 is all around me. 
and I have hang-ups about it because it's a clear example of mind control run amok when people ran up debt, got sold their houses, and got into ventures thinking that the end was going to come and save them. Why would they do such irrational things? That's what I'm trying to investigate. All right, now another comment on Save Me Part 2. Learn to read and understand what is written and stated. Now, I just got to stop right there. I have no idea how you can lecture me on not understanding what's written and what's stated when you can't even do the same yourself. Remember your comment about complaints about people who visit you uninvited hinges on 1975 and me joining your ranks pretty soon? Uh, Jack, why don't you look at my page where I explain that I am an XJW and I'm faded out. You believe I'm some sort of study. You made an assumption. An assumption, by the way, that you could have easily gone without had you simply looked at my page and discovered where I was coming from for yourself. So pretty please, don't lecture me about things that you yourself are guilty of. Okay? Thanks. Moving on. When I said we, it is obvious I am speaking for us, those who worship Jehovah. We have never worshipped for a date, nor have we put time limits on how long we serve God. Well, you know, I know there's a core of true believers after every one of these great disappointment-like events. In fact, after 1925, a lot of witnesses were gone. I don't, I don't know the exact number, but a lot of them did fall away. And that's what I'm trying to investigate. I don't care about the true believers, the people who hang on through thick and thin, like yourself. I'm interested in the people who were misled and why that happened. It can't be more basic nor clear than that. Come 2017 and eternally thereafter, I will still belong to the same worldwide congregation. You will, I believe you, because you're captive of a concept. But I'm interested in the people who thought they were worshipping Jehovah and then were misled by 1975 and fell away. Why did that happen? That's what I'm trying to investigate. Now we get to the meat of things. Partly blaming the victims? Sure! Victims are not always victimlessly innocent. I remember warning some of these poor victims as early as 1971 for their own misplaced expectation and not fully understanding what was actually being stated. Now, I think these people understood pretty clearly what was being stated. Moving on, I never believed anything based on a date, and I can't understand how anyone could. Ah. Well, it is eight minutes into the video, and I haven't even considered Robinson World's answer to my last video's question. So, he says, however, the answer to your yes-no question is yes, there was special significance placed on 1975, but not in the way you want it twisted. Now, of course, I love to twist things. Love, love to twist things. So I said, hey, since you think I'm lying, why don't you tell us all? And he hasn't done that yet. So I get the burden of telling everybody what kind of special significance was placed on 1975. So, like a good return visit, I'm going to leave you all with some questions that I will answer when I return. Number one. What did the society say about 1975 in print? Number two, what did the society say about 1975 in speeches made both to rank and file witnesses and to train witnesses? And number three, did the society know that people were taking 1975 too seriously? So, I will answer all these things when I return. Be good, nation. Peace out. Magic man done it. Sorry? A, a magic man done it. <laughs>